Okay, here's another short uh, automations on Dynamo and Revit to create a backdrop um, pipe connection. So if I annotate here and place, uh, I will draw here at the Zoom meeting. So normally the backdrop pipe connection is will be like this here. And then here, okay. So that's the backdrop connection. So let's try and run the Dynamo first. So I have already the script here, okay. So this uh, this script uh, will get the pipe. This, for example, we use this pipe. So this pipe. It came from usually came from uh, riser stock going to the manhole so of course we have a uh, depth also so then this one should be create a backdrop uh, connection because it's too high to, to connect here so that's why it's in the connect so, okay so Let's try run the Dynamo first before I explain the uh, script. Select the first, uh, the, select the manhole, and then you select the pipe or the line. So, so when selecting the pipe, you will get we will get the line of that pipe, the center line of that pipe or curve. So once finish selecting, uh, you go here. We can run now this one. Just try to check. See here. So this one should be. Undo this one. So again, if I run this one, so. As you can see here, there are two lines here. Okay. Okay, I will run again. I will run again this one. Okay. If I select this pipe and this one. Okay, and this one. As you can see, the blue line here is the um, the pipe. Okay. Okay, and I will create and annotate uh, draw. Okay. What will be the color? Okay. So the first line, this one, is the center of the manhole then it will create uh, a line this one this line then is um, okay so this line i get the curve and then place along the plane so this is the plane I create, there's a node in Dynamo that you select a line or curve and then a point. So this is the other point. So this is the point and then this is the line. Then you can create a plane. Then I pull this plane, this curve to here so that it will transfer. Okay. So that's the script. Uh, I'll clear this one. So if I reset this one, there we go. And if I, again, um, let's select another pipe here, this one. So select the line and then run. Again, if I, it's already, Hmm. 
Why is making poof? Anyway, so we can just delete this one. It's confusing, okay. Select the line, run. How many pipe is as this? Three. How come it's coming three? Select the pipe, the manhole, ah, normal, okay. Reverse. Okay. So, PM, PR. So you have now, okay. So just select this one and then run. PR, PR, trim, and then trim multiple. So you have now <coughs> the pipe. So I think this one is wrong. It should be like that. Anyway, so. To show you the script, uh, this is the complete script. So we can screen capture this one. So it's easy, no? You just select this one. Okay, we hide that one. <coughs> so this is now the complete script. So you select the first manhole, then you feed that one, you get the location. After getting the location, you, that's the point, this one. Then you get also the element get parameter, a depth of the manhole. After that, you multiply by negative one so that, because you're going to translate the, this geometry, this point. Okay, I'll wait. Okay, so this point, then you create a line, okay, you know, you just follow all these uh, lines and connect them all, okay, so this is the tricky part here, uh, this one. So this is the geometry translate, as you can see there, there's the point. This is the plane I created. So the plane I created is this point and then the line, which is this one. If I select this to this one and this one, it will create a plane. So this is the plane now, then you, this is the first um what you call this from center of the manhole i created an offset of here 1000 then i create a, a line also here at the end of the curve end point okay then once i okay so take a look here this curve i mean sorry this curve right and this one, I pull this line here going to the, along with the pipe. This is the line of the pipe here. I pull this one, so I will show you the, okay, draw. 
this line here, I pull, pull going to there. This one. So going to there. So that it is aligned to the pipe, center to center. So. And then if you select this now, you see, this one is here. Then I pull the line to the plane. And and then you place the output here to the pipe by lines. So that's how you can, you know, so we can create new pipe here. Uh, let's see. It doesn't matter what direction. Down, sloping. Let's say one is to 90. Let's say you have a very long pipe here coming here. As long as you point it in the inside. Okay, like that. So you have the slope one is to 90. Again, you will just select here the first one hole is already selected. Then you select the line or the pipe, this one, and then run and auto create now the vertical and the horizontal pipe connecting to the manhole so it's it's way faster yeah. okay so that's it and you can just um, I will just hide this one trim this one here and then you can just screen capture copy this one the connection with some cleaning up okay so all so now it's it's clear you can copy all the connection here so that's it thank you